In this video, I'll be doing a quick install of the Servio Media Server. My rig for this setup will be a virtualized Core 2 quad with one core at 2.9 GHz and 2 GB RAM, running on top of Windows 7 x64 Professional. All of this will be on a wired gigabit network, wireless end for the Droid. I switched to Servio since the Versi went for a pay for serialized model, and PS3 Media Server really hasn't been that reliable for me. Servio actually seems to offer the best playback and it even plays on my Droid 3 now. To download Servio, you have to visit Servio's website at servio.org and visit their download section. Since we're on a Windows machine, we're going to go for the Windows install you see here. While Servio is downloading, let's take a quick look at the minimum requirements for this application. You'll need at least 512 megabytes of RAM installed, 20 megabytes of hard disk space, and you need Java 6 runtime installed. Now that the application is finished downloading, let's go ahead and right click and open it. Click yes to allow permissions to install. Install is basically going to be like a next next finish. If you don't have Java installed, it will prompt you to install Java during this install. Install all the defaults and we're done. Now let's go ahead and open the application. I'm going to send the, the uh, shortcut to the desktop. Here you see the uh, Servio control panel. Basically, at this screen, you can start and stop the server. You see that it's running now. It also shows the miscellaneous devices that they're connected to, and the server actually sees like the PlayStation 3. Under the library tab you will add the path that you want to, uh, to your media files. Go ahead and add local path. In my case I actually have a partition, the media share, the data drive E. I'm going to add that. Click OK. You want to make sure you check these boxes. There's a video, music, images tab, a checkbox. You want to make sure you check those so they show up there. You see the online resources tab, I'm not going to use that here. The metadata tab. I actually go and uncheck some of these options because I found that some of the things I've downloaded actually show incorrectly. So I just wanted to use the original title and uh, generate a thumbnail based off of what the video is. The transcoding tab, basically keep all the defaults here. Here with the presentation tab, this decides how You'll be able to browse through your videos and images and music on the device, your DLNA device that you're looking with. So I want to go ahead and disable a bunch of these options so that I get a nice lean and clean view. Basically, I just want the audio, image, or video in the folders. I don't want it to be separated by any kind of categories or playlists or anything like that. For the remote options, we're basically just going to go and leave the defaults, <coughs> console settings, defaults, and then here you see the about tab that tells you about the uh, Servio media server.
Очень, наверное. Yeah,